River and I decided to install the Super Takano mod from Louise Renault that's been making the rounds on social media, and I gotta say, I'm liking what I see. She's a little rough around the edges visually, and of course most of the systems are still a work in progress, but all in all it's a capable aircraft for DCS. The Super Takano, or A29, is a Brazilian-produced turboprop light attack aircraft built by Embraer. It carries a variety of air-to-ground, unguided, and precision munitions, and can even boast modest air-to-air -air capability. With a 1600 horsepower Pratt & Whitney power plant, the Super Takano can fly at speeds in excess of 350 knots, up to 35,000 feet. Now this isn't a tutorial video, but really just our first impressions, and this is part one of a two-part series. While we have played with some of the features already to familiarize ourselves with the controls, we're still learning what works and what doesn't beyond the very basics of handling. Hope you enjoy the video and it encourages you to give this mod a try. Alright. Looking sharp over there. Man, you're looking pretty good over there. I say myself, man, man, I would love to have one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be fantastic. Um, yeah, so functionality, yeah, I mean, there's only a few things that actually work. I think uh, I think the lights work. Uh, let's find out. Yeah, I got my lights on right now. Your landing light is on. I see that. Yeah, it's like landing lights. Yeah. I feel like the anti-collision light was working. Um, but now I'm not sure which one that is. Is my, is my anti-collision light on now? Uh, not that I can see. Hmm. I'm flipping mine, but I see I I can't see any change in my landing lights. Um, I don't think the speed brakes were working. Right, affirmative. Yeah. So if if um, if they are working, there it's not being modeled. But I, yeah. I don't I don't see a reduction in uh, in speed when I use them, nor yeah. any sound. But I wouldn't expect the sound, but especially the speed reduction. So that's not probably working. So on landing, you got to really cut early, and she doesn't. She'll drop out of the air pretty quick on you. So you you got to keep it a little a little hot, a little yeah. shallow coming in. The other thing is the engine limits. You'll have an engine limit on the ground. Mm. Uh, at idle, um, but once you take off uh, and bring that up to speed, it'll go away. Yeah. Um, yeah, the flaps work, uh, and they definitely not just modeled, but they actually work because I accidentally dropped them earlier and I couldn't yeah. figure out why I was going so slow. Yeah, um, you got to nose down pretty good when they come out. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got here on the right side. We've got some other lighting. You know electric yeah, avionics i haven't messed with any of that stuff um yeah the engine page is interesting um i noticed that you can change the fuel uh, or at least it was the other day yeah there it goes joker you can set your your joker fuel yep um i don't know if it what kind of warning it gives you i haven't I haven't played with it actually in fact i'll just set it real high and see what happens well, it doesn't look like we're carrying a whole lot of fuel, so we might find yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. And then the nav page is pretty sparse. Uh, I'm assuming that's our current lat long. Uh, I don't know if that updates as we go. Route. Uh, so those are our waypoints. Uh, yep, made from. Yeah. No moving map to see those waypoints on yet. Oh, well, that works too. Oh, you can set a little heading bug. On the uh, oh, yeah. ADHSI, okay. Now I don't I don't think the autopilot, which is down below the left um, MFD, is actually functional, and I believe that's going to be the autopilot side. So, okay, yeah, yeah, we can turn it on. Um, what? There's all kinds of stuff here. I don't know how to use. Uh, let's see what else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the engine page is the EICAS. I'm not sure what that is. Engine instrument something, something, something. I'm assuming. Yeah, um, that that's actually a fantastic page, man. Yeah. A lot of information there. Yeah, yeah, and it's easy to easy to read. 
Let's see what else. DTE available in two weeks. Clear, of course, two weeks. DVR, two weeks. Emergency, two weeks. Yeah. That's okay though. I don't I don't need any of that crap. Um Okay, so it's got some airfields also put in. So that's interesting. Yeah, nearest, I believe. Um, well, it's, yeah, there's 10 of them here. So waypoints 90 through 99, and it's got the airfield identifier, it's got the lat long, and it's got the elevation. So if you go to nav and then uh, hit uh, up at the top left airfield, or you can hit the top right aircraft, and like, like I said, I think that's your location. Looking up at the upfront display, it's got COM1, COM2, nav aids. I, I've, I've messed with those, none of those work. Um, air to ground, so this one tripped me up. I, I armed everything and forgot to hit air to ground and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't letting me shoot anything. So you definitely gotta hit that. Because uh, everything will still stay safe even though it's armed. Yep, yep. Um, nav or in nav mode. And of course there's some changes in the HUD that occurs and then go to air to air, give you some changes there. Um, oh, and that was another thing. So, and I don't know why, but I was doing some bombing earlier and this i had the uh if, if you go to air to ground right now it'll say ccip off correct um i was flying around i'd armed everything up i had a bomb selected everything was good and i wasn't getting a ccip and i didn't know how to turn it on i hit the barrow uh, radar altimeter button there on the top on the uh, right side next to air to air <laughs> and that mm -hmm. brought it up so if you find that you can't get your ccip just uh just mess with that okay I don't know what these little toggles do on the right side. I've never noticed them. See them sticking out like Frankenstein's oh, yeah. neck, you know? Uh, yeah. I don't know what they do. But um, nothing, I guess. But Dial works. So, yeah, there's a little uh, dauber switch there on the left side of that display. And I was move that'll move around and do stuff, too. Um, in fact, it was letting me type in waypoints earlier. Um, I don't know how to get out of this page. I've found myself out. <laughs> uh, it just didn't happen earlier, so. Uh, it's this menu. Oh, okay, so I gotta pick one of these. Um, I don't know what any of these stand for except four, so nav. Okay, nav mode, auto. I guess that's time to target. I don't know. Interesting. Mm, yeah. Center. No, it's not letting me do anything. Weird. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of this. Okay. Uh, nav mode, yeah, so it says auto one. It's not letting me toggle. Maybe you can only do that in flight. Oh, gosh, what have I done? Oh, maybe that's how you get back. Okay, so that dauber on the left side of the screen is a four-way. It goes left and right. That's exactly what it is. Okay. You know what I'm talking about on the left side of the, uh, display? Yeah, I see it. You're gonna have to, if you, have to map that sucker. If you tap it to the left, it'll go back. So I guess it's kind of like the F-16. So it'll go back a page from there. And then uh, for armament, we've got the mass. I don't know what mass stands for. Over by the armament switch. It's got sim, safe, and live. Okay, yeah, I'm looking. Um, I don't know what mass would stand for. Hmm. But anyway, then you got to flip up that switch and then... To bring up weapons, go to SMS, and that'll bring up your display of your aircraft, pylons, and of course it's telling you safe, and that's, again, because we're on the ground and we're saved, but that's where we change that, so we'll do that in flight. I've given us uh, three bombs, two pods of rockets, and of course we get the two guns, 250 rounds each. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the cockpit obviously needs some texture, but I mean, it's a work in progress. I, I think it looks good. Um, it looks good looking outside on the wings, and it's just a cool looking airplane. Yeah, I'm I'm impressed. I wonder if there's any plan to actually make it multi cockpit. I wonder what the yeah, Gantapak does. Yeah, I don't know. He, he's probably uh, just a Rio, you know. He's probably like managing. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't see too many radar step on this thing, so I don't know yeah. what he's doing. Yeah, I guess he's just talking on the radio and looking cool. I feel like you got to put a lot of a lot of throttle to get it going. Well, it's turbine, right? So it's a turboprop. You got to spin it up. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you have much more experience in something like that than I do. Um, Reds on a rail, with for for steering. 
Yeah, the steering's a little, it needs some more wobble to it, certainly. Um, I do like how it kind of bounces down the uh, taxiway like that. Yeah. That feels good, but yeah. Yeah, it feels heavy. Yeah. Yeah, you can set it and forget it with the pedals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, two's in position. Okay, brakes are on. Coming up 100%. And release. Rolling. I'm not really sure what the rotate speed is on this thing. I'm going to say about 110. Twenty, get up. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna say one. I'm gonna say one twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. All right, gears up. All right, positive rate of climb, gear up. Yeah, so like we were talking before, the trim is a little. There's not much granularity to it. You click it to the left, you're gonna go too much trim to the left. Yeah, so far, I mean, it, it's definitely not a hands-off kind of flight, you know. You, yeah. Trim it up or down, you're still going to be manhandling a little bit. Yeah. And that's okay. It's a, you know, it's, it's a good oh, yeah. start. Yeah, I mean, you just, you can't be heads down on this thing too much. You'll uh, corkscrew into the, into the earth. Um, all right, our targets are over on this island off to our left, so. Okay, copy. I'm one, it says auto two. I wonder if it's automatically turn me to waypoint two. Let's find out here as I turn. I think it has. Yeah, I think it has. Yeah, I'm showing auto two as well. Yeah, but my the, waypoint uh, comes the carrot. Yep. Okay. So so we've got an auto mode. Cool. Alright. I'm just not sure why I'm getting that EGI error and if it needs to I don't know. Need more time on the ground to stabilize or what? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and master arm. Going live. Arm. Hey. <clears throat> Two's fenced. Oh, I did it to myself again. All right, air to ground. All right, and I'm up bombs. And I've got my pepper. All right, there's the uh, Waypoint diamond on the target area. So like I said, there's just a bunch of uh, crates and stuff. I might come a little bit left. Copy, I'm in trail. So I got CCIP off, and so is that what you have? Or do I need to press the it's, borrow alt? Well, it says, mine says CCIP off, but I actually have the CCIP. So are you getting the vertical yeah. line? Yeah, I'm getting it. I mean, I, I, okay. I saw it earlier, and I can drop with it. I just didn't know if that was correct. Yeah, no, it, it works all right. Goal. Up to the right. Yeah, good hit. Well, Joe. Turning in. 
Man, you didn't throttle back at all, did you? You were smoking around that corner. Yeah. Out to the right. Okay. Yeah, I'm short. That's alright, it's a little to the left on mine. All right, well, I'm out of bombs. Oh, hitting the yep. top left button, up rockets. I know you can, at least I believe, you can change the intervals. I'm not sure. Well, it's got single. Okay, so it's below that, it's got single and pair. Okay, and salvo. Oh, I'm gonna go up pairs. All right, I'm gonna go single. I wonder if the speed break and a dive would uh, help or something. Hmm. Yeah, the thing is just sporty. I don't know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's so smooth. Yeah. Probably unnaturally smooth, but... Uh, I think that's what right. makes it fun. I'm, I'm yeah. in VR, so it's just, it's like fantastic. Oh, VR. yeah, I bet it's awesome in VR. How am I out of rockets already? I don't understand. No, that's weird. It, like, paged off of my rockets after I shot. Yeah, same here. Uh, I just, I got him back on, but... Yeah, I mean, I had to click it again, but it seems strange. It had to be the way we were shooting him here. I'm done. No. Try that again. Yep, I'll go to pair and see if I can shoot more than one at a time. Yeah, I can only shoot two pair. I did that last time. I only got yeah, two pair off. Yep, the last time I had single, I pressed my button. I was going to press it again. I, it just didn't let me. Yeah. That's strange. I don't know what would. If that's by design or accidental. No, I'm going. Well, nope. I shot two times and I can't shoot. That's weird. Oh. The pair, the pair let me shoot four rockets. Right. And then it stopped. Yeah. I didn't hear any warning on my um, my Joker fuel bag. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, I respawned, so my Joker was set back at low. But yeah, okay, no warning. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. All right, although.
Boom. Ooh. All right. I'm not sure how many it shot there. Uh, looked like a lot. <laughs> it looked like a lot. All, oh, it, all, all at once. Yeah, it dumped the whole pod. Okay. So it was one pod. That's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. All of them at once. All right. Well, got nothing left to do but guns. So we hit AG, and that'll take us up to guns. It highlights the 250 on each gun, which I assume these are 20 millimeters. I'm not sure what they are. Mm, sticking out there. Yeah, they, they look scary. So, yeah, it's definitely something that's probably missing that just for immersion sake is uh, any sort of cockpit sounds. Like, surely something would have beeped at me by now, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Or we'd have blown this engine up. <laughs> or, or that, yeah. <laughs> All right, yep, see you shooting. Try and get you out on them. Oh, I love shooting a gun on this thing. Yeah, it's good hits. It's like, like IL-2 stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, it just reminds <laughs> me of the P-38. Yeah. <laughs> Break. Gotcha. Oh, you're shooting from way up there. Yeah. The pipper's pretty accurate too. Like I shot and I th I thought I shot way over and the rounds just fell pretty much right where the pipper had been. Wow. I don't know what it's doing to, to calculate that, but it's working. All right, there's a uh, car leaving town, rolling uh, rolling at that uh, crossroad I see as it. we rolled out. You see it? Blue car? I'm gonna, yep. Okay, yep. I'm gonna, I, like I, got 40, I got 44 rounds for him. Okay. Ooh, good hits. All right, rolling in. Kind of pushed in. I should have been equal to the road, but uh, it's kind of fun leading them like that. Yeah. God, the whole thing just shakes when you shoot. It's awesome. It's like old World War II <laughs> footage. I know. Like strafing trains and stuff. All right, well, uh, yeah, that was good. Now let's yeah. see if we can land. Yeah, no kidding. I have to uh, a real, this thing requires like a real approach, you know? Mm. You just can't get over there and chop it. Right. All right, I'm gonna slow up and let you get back in. I'm at uh, 150 at uh, 2.5. Okay, yeah, I got you inside. I'm behind you about a mile or two. I'm on initial.
Entering left on one. Roger. Gears coming out. All right, breaking initial. Gears down. Not sure what a safe flap speed is. All right, two's down. Roger, I'm short final. Yeah, it came a little warm. She uh, she floated a little bit, but it's easy breaks. Yeah, I got a little slow there at the end. It got a little mushy, but uh, yeah, I was right yeah, at around, she, I want to say 90 knots. Yeah, that sounds about right. She'll uh, yeah. she'll absolutely fall out. Yeah. Man, that thing looks sharp. Yeah, it does. Got the cockpit of a F-18 and a, I don't know, it's, it's it's a mixture of a hybrid of a bunch of different things. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Well, should we try it on a mission? Yeah, we can try that, sure. All right, do it. Without a doubt, this is a module to put some time into. Really enjoying it so far, and I can't wait to see what comes next in the build. Stay tuned for our first combat sortie in the Super T.